Superstorm Sandy slammed New York, the city's infrastructure took a beating. Power stations blew, tunnels and streets flooded, and water poured into the subways. The city that never sleeps was in the dark for days. I would give them a D because I think that the power could have come up a lot more quickly. University of Washington civil engineer Dorothy Reed is studying how the storm affected the infrastructure of the New York metropolitan area, including the power and transit systems. So I'm very, very interested in looking at what happens during these storms and what we can do as civil engineers to make the system more resilient. So With support from the National Science Foundation, Reed and her team are creating layered maps to construct a comprehensive street-by-street -street view of Sandy's devastation. Our research assistant, Stanley Wong, did a lot of the mapping. They are plotting the locations of power substations along with the number of customer outages per district, overlaying that with schematics of transit lines. They combine that with a layer showing where the power failed, and then they are marrying those maps with precise weather data from agencies including NOAA, NASA, and the National Hurricane Center. We overlay the storm surge and the rainfall and the wind speeds with the power grid itself so that we can try to correlate the outages with the flood levels. It's a daunting task to pull together data from so many different sources into one master map. Our ultimate goal is to be able to overlay all of the maps together. In addition to that, it would be very nice to be able to look at the census map so we could identify the number of people affected. Sandy exposed weaknesses in interdependent systems that need 21st century makeovers. It's part of the bigger problem facing New York and coastal cities around the globe. The sea level is rising everywhere. So it's really an anticipation of the sea level rise with climate change and adapting to that and how can the city prevent flooding. Is, is, it's, it's a primary concern right now. For now, the city government is considering a number of options to shore up the city's infrastructure. Reed says her team's work will help planners and engineers identify the city's vulnerabilities, key to being better prepared for superstorms yet to come. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.